Hello everyone. What's up? In this video, I'm going to show how to use NRF24L01 transceiver module. I will make a simple transmitter and a receiver with this module. If you're new to this channel then please subscribe and turn on the bell button to get the notification of new videos. Here we need two NRF24L01 modules. One for the receiver. And another with an antenna for the transmitter. Two Arduino Nano. A push button and a 5mm LED. Some jumper wires. And two pieces of breadboard. The NRF24L01 transceiver module operates in the 2.4 GHz ISM band with baud rates from 250 kbps to 2 megabits per second. At lower baud rates, its range can reach up to 800 meters in open space. Let's set up the transmitter. First placing an Arduino Nano on the breadboard. Then connecting some jumper wires with the NRF module. Then connecting NRF module pins with Arduino as like pin mapping table. Then placing a push button to send a signal on the breadboard. Connecting one terminal of the push button with the ground of Arduino. A push button with digital pin 2 of Arduino. Let's come in the transmitter code. First, include the SPI library. These libraries provide functions to control the NRF module. You have to install the RF24 library from the Arduino Library Manager. Pin 9 is used for chip enable. Pin 10 is used for chip select not. This initializes the NRF module. This defines a unique address for communication. The same address must be used in the receiver to receive data. The push button is connected to pin 2. This variable will store whether the button is pressed or not. The button is configured as an input with an internal pull-up resistor. Initializes the NRF module. Sets the communication address for sending data. Adjusts the power level of the radio transmission. The module is set to transmitter mode. Not listening means it will send data, not receive. In the loop function, reads the current state of the button. If the button state is low, then the LED state will be high. Else the LED state will remain low. Then sends the LED state value wirelessly to the receiver. A small delay, 100 milliseconds, to avoid sending data too frequently. Then select board Arduino Nano and processor then upload the code in the transmitter Arduino. Now let's set up the receiver part. Take another breadboard and place another Arduino Nano on the breadboard. Now connecting another NRF module for the receiver with Arduino as like a pin mapping table. Then place a 5mm LED on the breadboard. Connecting the negative terminal of LED with the ground of Arduino through a 1 kilo ohms resistor. And positive the terminal of the LED with Arduino digital pin 3. Now coming in the receiver code. First, includes all necessary libraries as before. This initializes the NRF module. This defines a unique address for communication. This must match the transmitter's address so the receiver can receive data. The LED is connected to digital pin 3 on the Arduino. Configures the LED pin as an output. Initializes the NRF module. Opens a listening pipe at the address. Here pipe 1 is used to receive data from the transmitter. Set the power amplifier level to low to save power. 
configures the module and receiver mode to listen for incoming data. In the loop function, checks if there is incoming data. A variable to store the received data. Reads the received Boolean value 1 or 0 from the transmitter. Controls the LED based on the received state. Then select board Arduino Nano and processor then upload the code. Now let's test the system. Here I'm providing power to the transmitter Arduino from a 7 volt battery. And powering the receiver Arduino from a power bank via a USB cable. When I press the push button in the transmitter then the LED in the receiver is turned on. So, this is how we can control anything wirelessly using two NRF modules. Thank you for watching the full video.